morning. I'm here at Riders in Bristol. And I'm currently here because I'm going to be road testing the new Harley Davidson chopper. It's not a chopper. Okay, it's not a chopper. But I'm going to be here to experience that iconic Harley Davidson twin cylinder V twin thump that everyone. It's not a V twin. It's an electric bike. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> okay, so here we are. We are riding the Harley Davidson Livewire. First thing, the obvious thing, really weird there's no clutch. It, not having a clutch control is the first thing. <laughs> if I had a pain, but every time someone has tried for the clutch, yeah. I'd be wrecked. Yeah. I'd get it numerous times. <laughs> I, I was finding that I was only really doing it when I was coming out of a corner or around the bank. Yeah. But it's so nice just to forget about it. Oh, lovely. Okay, so I feel myself still looking for that gear lever actually, which is weird. It's trying to change your mind so that you you realise you haven't got one. Oh no, that's that. That's that. Okay. 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 So the Harley Davidson Live Wire. If you're struggling to hear my uh, dialogue, it's only the wind that's getting involved because it's uh, so quiet. All I can hear is a bit of wind noise, a bit of road noise. That's blatantly obvious, because it's an electric bike. Say, that's a nice bike. Having no clutch there is, is weird, but, you know, it's not needed, so you don't need anything there. The dashboard is super clear. I mean, absolutely intuitive. So look, you can talk about the facts, figures, specifications. You can get all those online, you can search it. Let's just go through how it feels. This is an opportunity for me to see how it feels. First of all, it's super smooth. The riding position is actually very similar to my Monster. Um, which makes it extremely comfortable. Nice wide bars, very controlled. Okay, it's absolutely planted in corners. Absolutely planted. Let's see what it's like if I give it some... Okay, wow. This thing shifts. Now the weird thing is, obviously you don't get the sound sensation when you accelerate, which kind of gives you an idea of how fast you're going. With this, it's just hikes its skirt up and moves, and when it moves, it moves quickly. Let's just ease off a little bit. Come down speed-wise, maybe down to about, about 45. Oh, coming out of 50 because I want to hold cars up behind me and then I'm just going to crack it open. Okay, hellfire, that's quick. And I just want to point out that's in eco mode. So as a Harley Davidson, there's a few rules with Harley Davidsons of what they have to do. And the first one is if you're a Terminator, you have to look good on it. Now a Terminator comes back to this generation now and Bear in mind from the future, they're probably all on electric vehicles. He's probably going to be quite competent and quite useful on it. He's going to know exactly how to ride it. Secondly, there's no clutch, so the operation of a shotgun is that much easier. And then the third point to note is 
if he did ride one of these, you could have an awesome soundtrack with ACDC. And if I have to explain that, then you're at a loss to me. So no clutch, no noise. How awesome would this thing be at a cost of drive through I wouldn't have to turn the engine off to put my order in. And if you're wearing an open face helmet, you could actually quite comfortably hold your coffee in your hand. Or if you're a full on hipster with a beard, your skinny chai latte with extra cinnamon. Now when you're at a standstill there's or a, in traffic or at lights, there's actually a haptic feedback rumble that happens in the seat and through the handlebars. And it's artificial but it's basically to let you know that it's turned on. Well I think I've been riding for about 5-10 minutes so far and I've already forgotten about the clutch. It's like jumping into an, uh, an automatic car. Quite quickly uh, your left foot relaxes, you know you don't need it. And the same hand happened with, uh, with this. I, I know now I don't need my, my left hand to operate a clutch. My left foot isn't needed to change gear. So when you talk about charging times with electric bikes, normally the figures are given up to 80% charging time. And there's a reason for that and I'll try and explain it. If you've got a glass and a bottle of wine and you want to fill that glass up to get your money's worth right to the brim, you can pour the bottle of wine in as fast as you want up until it gets close to the top. Once it gets close to the top you have to slow down to make sure you get the most in you can and charging a battery is exactly the same. Exactly the same. You fire in the charge as quickly as you want up to 80% then you have to slow down to make sure you don't spill any, although you don't spill any electricity, that's just an analogy. But I did a bit of research on this before I uh, came out this morning and I worked out that I could ride from Plymouth to Edinburgh comfortably, only visiting Harley Davidson dealerships on the way to recharge and I could make it without running out of sparks. Now that may sound easy but you know Harley Davidson don't have hundreds and hundreds of dealerships through the country so actually you can do that using Harley Davidson chargers because they're all equipped with them now and by the way if you buy a brand new one of these and you go to a Harley Davidson charger the charge is free so you could literally drive from Plymouth to Edinburgh not pay a penny for electricity and at all of those Harley Davidson dealerships, grab a coffee, chill out, have a half an hour's break, because no motorcyclist in the history of time has ever said, you know what, I really wish I could just ride for 500 miles without stopping. Uh, this is, um, this is crazy, this is absolutely insane. This shouldn't be. This shouldn't be this quick, this shouldn't be this smooth, this shouldn't be this quiet. It is a game changer, this is an iconic moment, this is up there with your wedding day and the birth of your children, it's just fantastic. And it'd be interesting to see what the feedback's going to be as the new series of The Long Way Up comes out. As I'm riding this now, it's actually out now, it's out today. And what uh, those two guys did with the long way round and the long way down for sales of the BMW, uh, it's, it doesn't bear thinking about. I mean, they literally sold thousands of those bikes on the back of two TV series. Now, one thing that's interesting on this is you can change the, uh, the riding mode on the fly. So I press the mode button. And I think that's in rain. Yeah, I don't want that. That's road, and that's now sport. I think that just sort of livens up the throttle, you get uh, 
full power at the motor sorry if I keep looking down it's because I just have to look where the indicators are don't have to worry about stalling it You see, the only problem with this is if I have to do any sort of um, editing around the speedometer, if I've just nudged over the speed limit by a mile an hour or two, it takes away the whole idea or the information about how fast this thing is because you're not going to get anything from the sound of the exhaust. And I can now say that I've uh, ridden a Harley Davidson. It's a first for me. I can also say I've ridden an electric bike, which again is a first for me. Now I've driven electric cars, I've driven hybrid cars. Find them absolutely incredible performance wise. But the other thing you find when you jump in an electric car, and this is no different, is it's built to be a premium product. You've got Brembo brakes, you've got the full colour display screen incredible suspension and it um, feels premium it's little things little things that the, uh, the top brands do you've got Michelin tyres fitted to it but the Michelin tyres actually have Harley Davidson on the sidewall they have the Harley Davidson shield in the tread it's little things that make this different. The other thing it does, which they didn't explain to me, was that when you come off the throttle, they actually have tuned the motor in different uh, modes to give you different levels of engine braking. So in wet mode, you actually get more engine braking when you come off the throttle than you do in sport or road. And there's three custom options as well, so you can tune it to however you want it's almost like being able to map it yourself okay so ease off a little bit now let's drop it down to 50 miles an hour 53 and then I'm just going to open it up This thing's incredible. This thing is incredible. Don't be coming at me telling me these are milk floats or washing machine motors. Good God! This is uh, this is superbike territory uh, acceleration. I can only imagine. It's certainly faster accelerating than my uh, my Monster A21. And I know that's not a sports bike, but. It's no slouch, and this is just the mid-range. Well, I say mid-range, it hasn't got a mid-range, but... He said, go for it, I'll go for it. Okay, yeah, that, that's damn quick. That's like, uh, marginally over 60 miles an hour. In a, a matter of seconds, well, not even a sec, matter of seconds, it, it felt like it was no time at all. And I almost felt like I, was, I wasn't trying, you know, it's... Oh, it's completely effortless. actually completely forgotten the engine doesn't make any noise I'm now just thinking about the ride and just thinking about the, the feeling the, the quality the experience do you know what I'm almost thinking it's a situation where it's more pleasurable without the noise because I can hear everything that's going on I 
Okay, I'm not messing around. This is not just speak now. This is mind-blowingly fast. And weirdly, for the small amount of fairing, it's actually quite protective. I'm not feeling any wind blast in the chest. I mean, you may not be able to hear me too well at the moment, but... But there's no wind blast in the chest. It's not too windy around the helmet as far as I'm concerned. But the weird thing is that's all I can hear. Normally you'd have the drone of an exhaust underneath you. And if you're on a uh, dual carriageway or motorway like this, it would be constant and relentless. But I don't have that. It's just awesome. Absolutely awesome. The weird thing is, it's trying to put the bike in a bracket of where it's aiming for, because I, this is a bike for everyone. My 17-year-old daughter hasn't got a driving license. She doesn't ride a motorbike. But yet, within five minutes of instruction, she could ride this. It's that easy to ride. And that can't be a bad thing. Making bikes easier to ride makes them safer. And it just feels absolutely premium. Now I'm a Ducati fanboy, you know that. I love my Ducatis. And I consider them a premium brand. But currently this kind of puts it on a new level again. So I think we're getting pretty close to riders now at the end of the road test but if you're in a position where you get a chance to ride one of these go and see one test one just do it because they are absolutely the next level you can be hung up on the price bracket but you're not paying for a motorbike you're paying for something that is that extra bit awesome that extra bit epic this has been a fantastic day riders have been superb total respect to the guys there for being so fantastic and helpful if you like the video please give it a thumbs up drop us a comment and subscribe to the channel and we'll see whether we can uh, get some more rides like this I think that's off, is that off? or is just that, that, that's off